Hey everyone, thank you for tuning into my Paris Part 2 vlog. I just wanted to jump on here and explain that we got dropped off at the Arc de Triomphe and our intention was to walk around that area and then get a, another Uber over, over to the Eiffel Tower area. But we looked at our map and it actually wasn't too far to walk. So we just started walking and I actually really enjoyed walking and I would recommend it if you want to get different viewpoints of the Eiffel Tower, like if you want to get different photographs and stuff because it gives you that opportunity and it I think it took all in all like 30 minutes I can't remember exactly but I feel like it was about 30 minutes to walk between uh, each attraction so not too far at all I don't understand it. I need somebody to, to explain it to me because, okay, so this store was located in Montmartre, the area we were staying in, and like everybody would go in there and we'd be at a restaurant and I'd see people with bags from the store. So I don't know if it's like a social media thing. I'm just not aware of. I have no idea. Basically, they just sell rubber ducks and I, maybe it's just people buying a rubber duck from like the country they're from or getting a France rubber duck. I don't know what's going on here. The store was just insanely popular and they had a rubber duck for every situation. They had celebrity rubber ducks, Donald Trump rubber ducks. Um, they had everything rubber duck. I, I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. But yeah, I mean, they're very cute. I think they're a really good gift for a kid. I don't know what I would do with it personally unless you collect rubber ducks. But the store was very interesting. 
nonetheless and I wanted to come and check it out but yeah if you guys know anything like what is up with the rubber duck situation let me know is this like a, a really popular thing somewhere I have no idea This is at the Westin Hotel by the Louvre. We stopped to have some wine and lunch here and I cannot recommend it enough. The setting is just stunning. The food, the wine, everything was excellent. Highly recommended. This is the park that is right beside the Louvre. We walked around here for a while and then we sat down and had a drink. It's really nice because they have these restaurants in the middle of the park that serve alcohol and food and it's just something kind of unexpected i guess as it is in the middle of a park so it's a very nice scenic and relaxing area to sit and it's just a gorgeous view of the louvre and the city and um yeah we really enjoyed our time here this is also where you'll find that big circular pond that you see so many instagrammers taking pictures around with the green chairs so that's actually what brought me to this area at first is because I seen a girl taking a picture. This is the pond right here. And I was like, where is that? And I spotted the Louvre in the background and then I realized, oh my goodness, that's right there. So we went and checked this area out. You know, you might have to wait for a seat, but they do come up. Um, but yeah, it's just very leisurely. You know, you can see people having wine and having a coffee or reading a book. And um, yeah, just come and sit here and take in the view of the gorgeous architecture and um, yeah we got really really lucky with the weather it was awesome to film when the show is on but I wanted to show you guys like the inside of the theater so this is the lobby and we were really lucky we got seated up front we didn't do dinner with it we just got a regular ticket and then we opted to buy a small bottle of champagne which we really enjoyed all in all the show was really good and we felt it was worth the money yes it was expensive but it was an experience and we still enjoyed it
Excusez-moi, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur.